Okay, in the matter of about five, ten minutes, I've gotten this carburetor taken apart. I love new parts, or new-ish parts. This carburetor definitely is new. There's no corrosion on it. Everything came apart very easily. The uh, two bowl screws that normally strip out on these carburetors came out perfectly fine. The uh, little inner screws that hold the jets, that go around the jets here, that little plastic piece, came out without any problems. I've had those stripped out before as well. And on the other side, this little cover, those ones normally come out for me, but again, everything came out nice and good. So, overall this carburetor smells like bad gas, but it looks pretty good. So, I think what the problem is, let me grab it, so I don't, don't lose anything. This little plastic piece right here, the one side is plugged. So, I'm going to make sure everything's clear on this. Uh, everything uh, precariously sitting on the flywheel. Hopefully no one hits the key, ha ha ha. Uh, and I'm also going to blow through the, the two jets right here. And there's two little holes back in there. I'm going to blow through them as well with carburetor cleaner. Then I'm going to put it back together and it should be good. I may or may not take the intake off. Because once you start getting into the intake, you do get into uh, dealing with the gaskets. Um, I don't. If I, if I can get away with not doing that, I will. But what I'm going to do is clean up all this, blow the uh, carburetor cleaner through, put it back together, and test it. If it's not running or it's not running right, I will take it back apart and take the intake off. I know a lot of people will say, oh, take the intake off now, take it off now. If I can avoid that step, I'm going to avoid that step. I'd rather take it apart again than risk damaging the gasket for no reason. So that's why I'm doing it this way. On the intake side, this gasket stayed in place. It did tear a little bit right here, but once the uh, intake's back on it and pushes against it, it should be fine. I may or may not have an extra gasket. I will definitely take a look first. This, the other side here, it came off fine. I always thought these plastic intakes did not need gaskets, but it had gaskets on it, so I will be uh, running them again anyways. I, I always thought, yeah, they have an O-ring right here as well, so I'm wondering if that's incorrect. But it seemed like it wasn't binding, so I will definitely put it back to the way it was. So I guess that's uh, pretty much it for this for right now. Um, just a quick, why I like newer parts. Except whenever newer parts get left with old rotten gas in them. I'll talk to them later. Please keep it redneck like always and uh, please subscribe comment. And it's another quick look. This engine's actually very clean other than the, some little bits of grass. Bye for now.